In the previous video regarding constructing a conversational AI chatbot, we assured that our conversation with the chatbot was saved to a file. But we found that our chatbot was forgetful. In the current video, we will make sure that our chatbot remembers the context of the conversation. In the rest of the video, I will use my cloned voice, of course, using AI-based text-to-speech synthesis, primarily to make my video production more efficient. Recall that our previous AI chatbot code answered individual questions well, but could not remember the context of the conversation from one question to another. For example, I asked the chatbot, who is Mr. Beast? The Python chatbot answered the question very well. Mr. Beast is a YouTuber and philanthropist whose real name is Jimmy Donaldson. He is known for his viral challenge and stunt videos on YouTube, so and so forth. Then I ask my chatbot, does he make international content? My AI chatbot says, I am an AI language model and do not have information on a specific individual. Please provide the name or context of the person you are referring to. That means my chatbot forgot that my previous question was about Mr. Beast. It did not realize that the word he in my second question is referring to Mr. Beast of my first question. The reason is that I really did not use the functionality of remembering the context of my conversation while I was using the OpenAI's ChatGPT API. With every new question, we have to specifically provide the conversation so far, or at least a summary of the conversation, so that the AI engine can understand the context. So we will be changing this code to do that. The magic occurs in OpenAI's OpenAI.ChatCompletion API. We will make our changes mostly here. Before we dive into that, let us quickly take a look at the original documentation of the API. Here is an example of the Chat Completion API. When we call the OpenAI's Chat Completion API, we can incorporate a list of messages in this list. Each element in the list is a Python dictionary object that has a role key and value pair and a content key and value pair. All keys and values are strings. The last element of this, messages list, will contain my latest question. The first element of the messages parameter is generally a system role, whereas the content, we are telling the model that it is a helpful assistant. The system message actually sets the tone of the conversation of the AI. Here we are telling the AI, hey, you are a helpful assistant. We could write, hey, you are a strict parent. Or we could even write, you are a stubborn teenager. For now, let us stick to, you are a helpful assistant, so that our chatbot acts like the regular chat GPT. The rest of the elements in the messages list will be sequences of user and assistant roles. A user role refers to a message that the user sent to the model. If the user role is not the last element of the list, then there should be an assistant role next. The assistant role will hold the reply that the model provided against the content of the user role that appeared immediately before the assistant role. In this example, this second element is the question that was asked before this current chat completion call, for which the third element contains the answer that the model gave previously. The last element, which is the fourth element in this list, is the latest question or the latest question that the user is sending. That is, the last element of the messages list is the actual user question. The previous lines are the conversations made so far or the context of the last question. That means in the OpenAI's chat completion call that we use to create our user question in the chatbot, we can plug in previous questions and answers as user role and assistant role elements. Then, with each call, OpenAI will read our latest question as well as the previous conversations. Hopefully the problem of forgetting the context will be solved this way. A quick reminder, we can use GPT 3.5 Turbo model or GPT 4 model. GPT 3.5 Turbo model is much cheaper than GPT 4. Therefore, I will stick with the GPT 3.5 Turbo model for the exercise in this video. Let us change our code. I will use a list named Discussion to save all our past questions and answers. Let us start the discussion list by guiding the model using the system role with the instruction that it is a helpful assistant. This system role message will remain our first content in the discussion list for the rest of the execution of the code. Now after the user enters the prompt or the question, we will append the user question as a user role content. For the chat completions create method, I will set the messages parameter to this discussion variable, which contains the conversation so far. The last element of the discussion variable is the latest entered question. After we receive the response, we separate the actual response text. Now that we have the actual response text, 
we immediately append the response to the discussion variable as an assistant role content. We write the response in a file. Yes, we print the response on the terminal, just like before. The execution of the program will then repeat, prompting the user for new input. If the user enters anything other than the word quit, the user-provided text will be appended to the discussion variable. The updated discussion variable will then be sent to the OpenAI's model. The response from OpenAI will be appended, and the response will be written to the file and printed on the terminal. The process will keep repeating until the user quits by entering the word quit. Let us run the program. I ask the chatbot, who is Mr. Beast? I receive the good response as before. Then I ask, does he make international content? Note here, this is the question which our previous version of the chatbot was not able to answer because it forgot the context of the conversation. Now, for the same question, the chatbot answers, yes, Mr. Beast's content is viewed globally. Amazing. It also mentions that Mr. Beast is based in the United States, but he has a worldwide audience. Note here that my question was vague. Does he make international content? What did I mean by international content? Is it that the topics are international? Or did I mean if people worldwide consume the contents of Mr. Beast? The answer includes all aspects of the question. It included, Mr. Beast collaborated with YouTubers from different countries. This is simply amazing. I also ask, how old is he? It understands that I am talking about Mr. Beast. The AI gave the birth date and stated the age based on 2021 data. As we know, ChatGPT is trained on data up to 2021 but it is smart enough to give the birth date along with the age so that we can figure out the current age based on today's date. About this code, note that this discussion variable will keep growing with the conversation I am having with the chatbot in one execution of the program. Ideally, it is the developer's responsibility to reduce the messaging. Maybe only the latest three to four questions and answers can be kept in the discussion list. Or, based on the application, the developer might use a technique to summarize the previous conversation and feed a summary into this list instead of providing everything. With long, long conversations, the token limit will be reached at some point and there will be an error. The simplest thing to do is to keep only the latest several questions and answers in this discussion list. I will provide a link to this code in the description section below so that you can tailor the code and the ideas for your projects. Using the ChatGPT API opens up many possibilities for building various applications. You can build applications for many projects, from customer support to interactive entertainment to education, to name a few. Please note, while ChatGPT API can generate informative and creative content, it's important to remember that it's an AI and its responses should be thoroughly evaluated before launching an application. Enjoy the power of artificial intelligence.